see Ripple at a trap style And XRP be the choo-choo Solo Genesis Ain't nobody hot as us Chill, I'm a racer, y'all Dope like Darius What would you do for an NFT? What would you do for a real OG? Me, I'ma do whatever But I'ma never Giving up my private key So Brad Garlinghouse lit the fuse before Kyle Roach founded Roach Freedom and made a pact with Ava Labs, he was a relatively lowly associate at the law firm Boy Schiller Flexner. They were representing Ripple, who were defending a lawsuit claiming their XRP token was an illegal security. According to Kyle, he proposed to CEO Brad Garlinghouse that he created a new law firm that was specialized in suing others in crypto, using exactly the same kind of tac tactics that were being used against Ripple. Kyle asked Brad to become his angel investor and supposedly, curiously, Brad agreed. One might have expected he would want to see less of a kind of litigation across the country. But for whatever reason, Brad Garlinghouse invested in Kyle Roach and supported him on his current path. It certainly didn't save him from the SEC. And then we got Brad Garlinghouse coming back with a comment of his own. Can't comment on the validity of the slew of allegations in here, but I can unequivocally say that I have never met or spoken to, much less invested in Kyle Roach. Ladies and gentlemen, they do not want you here. At the same time, they are trying to get this XRP as low as possible. Do you understand that a brand new financial system is being built right in front of your face? You mean to tell me you're talking about this brat? This brat. You lost your color for one minute, now you black again. Yeah, I'm on a blockchain with it, and my blockchain muck is full of octane in them. You know the vibe, plus we shredder than a motherfucker. Back a jack, back a jack, back a jack, back a jack. Yeah, yeah, we crash monkeys. Yeah, yeah, we crash monkeys. It go planet of the apes, gorillas in a mess. All these bad rooms all over my shit. It go planet of what? It's going on, blockchain monkeys. Eagle Hitters, thank you for coming to my jungle. And first of all, I'm no financial advisor whatsoever, nor am I professional in blockchain technology. But there's one thing that I absolutely will do, and that's give you my opinion. So today, we're going to get right back to it. But coming in from the vice chair, have you heard the words that came out of her mouth? But before we get to it, let's go back to this. Is there a possibility that Ripple could take over Swift one day? Well, I deal with making sure that the SEC has the SEC and the CFTC have other magnets to go after. Um, because I'm a person. Oh, no, they were better just much better. Correct. Yes. 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 Keep an eye out for that. But coming in from the vice chair, if she hasn't said a mouthful, take a listen to this. I'm pleased to join you at the FedNow Early Adopter Workshop with the technical testing phase of the FedNow. She said Early Adopter Workshop. Service kicking off in mid-September. I want to particularly thank you, the early adopters, for the important investments you're making. Appreciate it. for the day when the FedNow service goes live. Together, we'll be ready to launch the FedNow service between May and July of 2023, bringing this innovative core instant payments. Innovative core? I just did a video on Corium. Stop, stop doing that. Stop, stop it. Infrastructure to financial institutions of every size across America. We've been working hard to deliver on time, but ultimately the number of American businesses and households that are able to access instant payments will depend on financial services providers making the necessary investments to upgrade our payments infrastructure. Well, Ripple's already doing that. Together, we can ensure all Americans have access to a modern and reliable instant payment system. The payment system is a critical part of America's infrastructure that touches everyone. Americans rely on the payment system all day, every day to make purchases, pay bills. She's speaking that shit, ladies and gentlemen. Without ever needing to think about the complex infrastructure that's operating under the hood. The FedNow service will transform the way everyday payments are made throughout the economy, bringing substantial gains to households and businesses mm. through the ability to send instant payments at any time on any day with funds immediately available to recipients to make other payments or manage cash flow. Immediate availability of funds could be especially important for households managing their finances paycheck to paycheck 
or small businesses with cash flow constraints. Having the capacity to manage money in real time could help households avoid costly This is why I give a huge, huge shout out to Mean Five. Mean Finance with their payment streams, allowing people to get paid instantly. Great fees or free up working capital for small businesses to finance growth. During the pandemic, we saw how essential rapid access to funds can be as so many households started spending their emergency relief payments on the day they were received. To deliver on the promise of a payment system for the future, the Federal Reserve has made a substantial commitment to the FedNow platform, which has benefited from the technologies and approaches provided by global technology companies that are vital for today's always-on digital economy. Our cloud-first design, unique among central bank instant payment services, positions us for the future by enabling not only the throughput and scalability required for high volume retail transactions, but also broad geographic points of resiliency to ensure continuous service. Cloud first design affords other key components such as self healing processes and automation, which add to self healing. Let's go. Operational resilience. And our development processes are agile, allowing us to deliver new features faster to financial institutions of all sizes as they're ready to adopt them based on their priorities. We've also invested heavily in stakeholder engagement to ensure readiness for adoption through efforts like the pilot program, the FedNow Explorer resource, the FedNow community, the service provider showcase, and the FedNow early adopter workshop. To advance our goal of nationwide reach for instant payments, we are working closely with the private sector RTP instant payment service on message specifications to ensure alignment and support of routing interoperability. When you talk interoperability, I have no choice but to think of quant. Just as the Federal Reserve has made a substantial commitment to our new instant payments infrastructure, we're calling on industry stakeholders to do the same. The shift to real-time payments infrastructure requires a focused effort, but the shift is inevitable. The time is now for all key stakeholders. It's inevitable, she said. Like, ladies and gentlemen, like if, if these banks and institutions aren't getting on board, they're just left. Financial institutions, core service providers, software companies, and app developers to devote the necessary resources to support instant payments. That means upgrading back office processes, evaluating accounting procedures for a seven business day week, arranging liquidity providers, deploying a new customer facing app and promoting instant payments for key use cases to customers. As the service providers featured at this event will demonstrate over the next few days, parts of the industry have already seized on the opportunity to build new services and capabilities that support instant payments. These efforts will increase competition in the market for end user services and pro promote innovation. Key benefits from providing the FedNow service as a neutral platform accessible to financial institutions of all sizes around the country. Let me close by just again thanking our early adopters. The input you've provided has been instrumental for our team as they've designed and built this service and the time and energy you've committed to this effort is critical for a successful launch. I want to call on additional banks and core service providers to join your commitment to prepare for adoption of the FedNow to prepare service. prepare for this adoption. Here, I hope we can all have a great sense Are of you accomplishment. Are you prepared? Our shared and so before we go, I want to give a huge, huge shout out to the Sologenic Dex and everything that they're doing. You got the XLS20 coming. You got so many things being built. And then you got the interoperability with the core, the Corium coming in hot. It's just amazing, okay? I said, if you could understand the future value of Sologenic NFT marketplace, you'd understand why I buy and build on it. So like, yeah, come on, and subscribe. I, I, and we will all see each other on the moon. Cause it's the standard in this bitch. XRP. I, I went to YouTube University. And now they mocking me. With no degree. We say about a swift. Keep it walking. We smoke your elders in these bushes. Bitcoin is talking. You don't have to be rich to be taking uh, advantage of this. This was the beginning of the greatest transformation of wealth 
the world has ever fucking seen since World War II. Blockchain. Blockchain. We talking about an intellectual to to train. It's the up in these streets, man. That's why we rip all on that blockchain.